Okay, I got the uh, 706 here in scan mode. I'm in uh, in the memory mode here. And I'm just going to randomly uh, program a frequency into the memory. I'm going to kind of wing it here. Let me see uh, how high up I uh, go in memory here. I think I'm up to 60 something. I'm just using the up and down keys here on the mic. Okay, I'm in memory number, uh, I got 520 in memory number 65. So, memory number 66, I want to program a frequency. And this is how we're going to try it out here. Uh, I haven't used this radio in a while, so I'm just going to kind of wing it. You can program a frequency uh, right in the memory mode itself, but I'm going to do it from the VFO and then put it into a memory a memory channel. So just uh, follow me along here, nice and slow. And if I screw up a little bit, forgive me, because uh, like I said, I'm not in. Uh, I haven't played with this thing too much. All right, right now we're in the memory mode. So. And we're uh, in menu S2, and we got V slash M, VFO memory mode. We're in memory mode. I want to press F3 once. I'm going to lower the volume on this a little bit. Now F3 brings me into VFO A, and as you can see, I was playing around on uh, 144 200 the sideband frequency, calling frequency. So now I want to put a frequency in of uh, 147315 and I want it in FM mode because I want to program a repeater in. So you see the little arrow here? That's going to turn it nice and slow. But let me bring that to 315. 315. Then I want to take that arrow and bring it over to the megahertz. Now I got it on the hertz, kilohertz. What am I doing here? Oh no, first I want to go to FM, FM mode. So I'm pressing the mode button. So now I'm in FM mode. And the TS button will toggle between kilohertz and megahertz so just uh, press the mode button to put the mode the mode you want it's upper side man CW ready and FM FM is what I'm looking for now press the TS button to bring the arrow above the 4 here because we want to bring that 4 to 7 real quick and that's how you do it real quick notice how the duplex positive shift went in and the tone came on when I turned this by itself now uh, okay let me what I want to do is I want to try to uh, say if uh, you didn't have the tone come on by itself if you went to a, a kind of like an odd frequency I wanted you to be able to learn how to put the tone in also yourself because that's just good to know Let me scroll through these here okay I'm gonna hold the display button okay holding the display button down brings you into a menu into the menu and it's showing your RF power output and you use the band switches which are here on the right, up and down. I'm going to go down, and here it's going to show me the repeater tone that's set in here. I'm looking for a repeater tone of 118, so I'm going to put 118. Oh no, I'm sorry. This is, actually, 
in actuality, this is a repeater scan. So if you're listening, if you happen to be listening to a repeater, you just hit this button here, and it's going to scan through the repeater tones. And when the repeater activates or somebody starts talking on it, it will the the the, the tone uh, will stop. But anyway, I'm going to keep going here. Here's your tone squelch. That's a receive tone. And here's your repeater tone, which I'm going to turn this dial to get to 118. And then I press the mic. And it keys the repeater up. And I'm going to hit the display button. Okay, now everything is actually set up. So I have to put this into the memory. So in actuality, I was going to show you step by step how to put the uh, the positive and negative in, and how to turn it the tone on. But there's really no sense to do that because once you punch a frequency and the tone comes on, and the plus or minus comes in there. So uh, now I want to put a uh, I want to put this frequency that's fully set up with the positive shift and the tone turned on in FM mode the splits right 600 kilohertz split key the repeater up no problem put the preamp on bringing it a little stronger and now I want to bring put this into menu uh, memory number 65 so in order to do that I want to get the menu button here let's see what am I looking for here yeah I want to get the menu button to S1 because I want out right above F1 Foxtrot 1 is MW Okay, which you want to write your memory frequency into memory number 66 I want here. This is, I'm confusing the hell out of myself, so just, you might have to watch this a couple times to understand it. Anyway, now that I'm here, I'm going to take this dial here, the outer part of the dial, turn it one to the right. Now you see memory number 66 is blank, it says blank. Now what I want to do is I want to hold down F1 for two seconds. Okay, now I held it down for two seconds and it beeped. So now I want to get back into S2 menu where I have V slash M. That's why I can scroll back and forth between the VF up and the memory. And now we see a num and memory number 66 is the repeater frequency that I just put in there see when I turn it down to 65 I have 146520 66 now I'll scan the frequencies and I'll stop it at number 66 scan it again Stop it at number 66. Make sure it went in. It's in menu number memory number 66. Press to push the talk, and there it is, set up into the memory. So that's how to program a memory, a frequency into the VFO, and putting it into the memory itself. But uh, like I said, I wanted to show you real quick how to. Uh, how to uh, look at the? Uh, let me see. I'm gonna. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back into the VFO mode, and I'm back in the VFO mode here. Now I'm gonna press the uh, display button until I get a uh, until I get M4. Okay, so what I did is I just kept pressing the display button 
until I got M, M1, then I just press the menu button. Just keep pressing the menu button until you get M4, until you see the word dupe and tone. So you got your duplex and your tone. So when you press F3, it turns the tone squelch and it turns the tone on and off. That's how you actually turn your tone on. Once you put it in, the, you know, once you go into the menu, you turn it, you just uh, go to M4 and hit F3 to turn the tone on, tone squelch. But you got to make sure you set your tone squelch also to the same DL if the repeater's transmitting a tone. Okay, so there you go. And here's your duplex, which sets your positive and negative shift. In other words, I could turn that off. Say, if I wanted to put this frequency, uh, this repeater frequency in the next men, in, into the next memory freak, into the next memory channel, but I just wanted the output of the repeater. This is exactly what I would do. I would have no shift on it. This way, when I key up, it keys up the output. When I put a tone on, of a plus. It keys the repeater up. And so that's all you do is press F2 to get your negative, positive, or no, t or no shift whatsoever. And there you go. There you have it. Programming the F the ICOM 706 Mark IIG. And there's so much to this radio. Like I said, I've had it for a number of years and have no use whatsoever on it hardly hardly ever use it on the hf bands this basically is an hf radio i mean two meters and 440 is just a, a bonus to the radio you know but this is basically used for the low bands which is you know the whole uh, purpose for this radio using it for the hot you know hf uh, frequencies but in case you wanted to, you know, program, you know, UHF and VHF frequencies into the memory, that's how you do it.